Uh, this is our new uh, aviation fuel trailer, Avgas fuel trailer. Uh, I'll just show it to you, I'll walk you through it. Uh, so this is based on a five by four box trailer that we modified and we've done a few mods to it. Uh, the first one is we've put the reel on the drawbar, so we've, we've had to put in uh, strengthening box section underneath and then we've, we made a bracket to hold um, the reel. But also added this other drawbar in here that's in a store position. So it's, it's stored underneath and it's got a pin holding it in. And you, you basically take it out and put it on the front um, and that will extend the drawbar for a quad bike because the quad bike's a lot lower down and further in. So with that out the front, um, you also, you don't get in the way of the jockey wheel. So a lot better to use with the quad bike. So the aviation reel is automatically retracting. Quite nice to use. Uh, we, we've gone with a digital Pusey meter rather than using a mechanical meter. This is an aviation nozzle um, with a dust cap and a static line on there. Um, we've made up this hook, which is also padded for easy, sort of easy storage for daily use. And then uh, when, when we're on the road, we actually tie it down so that it doesn't bounce around. So that, that's gonna stop any sort of strain on this point as well because it's sitting horizontal. Uh, we have the static reel here, which is also required for aviation, it's all connected to an earth strap. And then the 75 litre per minute 12 volt pump, also aviation compliant, feels that it's aviation compliant, uh, and it's all connected via stainless steel piping. Now this is a direct connect model, so there is no flexible couplings used, uh, which made it quite hard to assemble because you had to assemble it as a whole and then and then put it onto the trailer. Um, this is uh, this front gate is actually three mil thick steel, so everything is actually bolted off the front of this trailer. It's not bolted off the side, and we had to manufacture brackets um, for the pump. There's one here. We had to manufacture this bracket in here, and then we had to manufacture the one for the filter. Uh, and obviously get our spacing right and the heights right for the reel. So that took a bit of work to engineer that because there's a few measurements going on here and it's a, like I say, it's not flexible coupling based. Um, on the side here, we've put in our fuel drain. This is our daily fuel drain. Uh, so that has a, a dust cap and for basically on road use. Um, it, it's, un, it's on the chassis here, so it's actually in a pretty firm position. It goes underneath and it's connected up to the bottom of the, the filter there. That's actually a union, so when we need to change the filter annually, we're able to disconnect the fuel drain and then um, pop out the filter uh, for changing the, the, the the element that's inside, the paper element that's inside. Uh, here we have our battery. Now this is just a battery pack that I acquired. Um, it has a little voltmeter built in, which is kind of nice. You can see what the condition of your battery is like. Um, some charge points I don't really use. These are our, um, this is how we're controlling the pumps. So it's an, an isolator. It goes through a fuse and then out Anderson plug to the pump. And then there's just a spare point here uh, you can charge off there, but you can also charge off these two points. We're, we're going to just go with a AC charge model. We're not going to use solar panels because where we work or where the trailer is based is always going to be power available. Uh, here we have a fire extinguisher. We're meant to have two. We we have one in the trailer and then one outside the trailer. Uh, this one, this trailer is actually registered because. This is for commercial use, even though it's a small trailer, we decided to register, it wasn't a big effort. Um, we just put the lights on it and number plate on a, on a swivel so that when you've got the tailgate down, it's still visible. Um, the tailgate, nothing special about it other than we also did three mil plate on that, so it's a fairly heavy, heavy tailgate. Down this side we had lots of space for all sorts of things. Um, 
milk okay, have clean water, our soapy water for washing windows of the helicopter, um, spill kit, both rags and, and sawdust, and then we've got um, cleaning stuff like sponges and detergents and things, and then our daily like um, daily drain jar um, rags and things like that. And it's held in these containers that conveniently fit perfectly in this trailer. And these are the, the two drums uh, that we have here. We use a spike, and um, I'll just go around the other side. We use a spike with a flexible hose for suction, uh, and that's cam lock based. And um, these are this cam lock in here. The, pike, the spike is removable to put into the other drum, uh, and then the, there's another cam lock on the other end of the pump there. So that whole hose is removable. And um, we pull the spike out when on the road in transit. Um, seal the drums up. Um, these are two officially 205 litre drums. Uh, we, we actually get about 210 litres in them. So that's uh, 420 in total. And with 420 litres and the trailer and all the, the um, fabrication, this trailer came to 730 kilos full. Uh, the rating of this trailer is 750 unbraked. So we, we've only got 20 kilos up our sleeve, but I, I weighed it with everything in here. Um, just fairly solid construction and it holds these drums in. This is a rubber line, five mil steel strap that holds holds these drums in. It is uh, can be disassembled to remove the drums, so you can um, change the drums out if you need to replace them or put jet drums in and then to change the whole trailer to jet. Um, and this is rubber lined as well, the steel plate that goes through. It's sitting on a rubber mat and so there's no metal to metal contact in this trailer and uh yeah um we finally got it working took, took a fair bit to nut it out because it's a fairly small space and to keep within the 750 kilo weight limit uh, making it functional and um, the entire thing is driven from this side in terms of the the reel the, the hose reel the static reel the drain you know the, the pump switch and the isolator that that's all driven from the this, this side so you would have your aircraft on on your right hand side here when you'd park next to it um, and that's a 10 meter hose on that reel don't really need much longer than that so there you go new um, avgas trailer <laughs>